Welcome guys to a brand new video on Nikkei Goddess of Victory. So I recently made a video um, going over whether or not you guys should summon for the collab characters. So Rem, Amelia, um, I went over why you probably don't want to skip them for the 1.5 anniversary character with the release of a new pilgrim or whatever. We didn't have the skills information when I made that video, but in general, I just said you absolutely wanted to summon for the collab characters because it's a one and done event once those characters leave they are never coming back and you don't want to regret not summoning for those characters right now because in the future we might potentially get other buffers that make those characters insane or a diff or, or change in the game that will make those characters one of the best characters to use but unfortunately you got unfortunately for you guys you skipped out on them because you didn't really care for them or something like that well now we know the skills for each individual character except for Ram but Ram is an SR unit you guys will absolutely get her for free but we have the skills for both Ram Emilia and honestly they sound or both look absolutely insane especially Ram over here Rem is a character that I can say for certain is going to be absolutely meta in the game. Now obviously there is a condition that will make her like one of the best go to support character which is you need to use her against uh, or use her with rocket launcher characters but that is fine there is a really good bunch of rocket launcher characters in this game that you can use her with uh, switch over to rocket launcher uh, for everyone we have A2 we have what Emilio you can use her with you can we have Laplace now Laplace might not be that good right now but the new system that the game is adding with like the emblem or token which will essentially allow you to upgrade certain characters past what they do right now so laplace i believe is one of those characters that will actually get upgraded so you never know if she laplace might become an insane insane dps character we also have uh, power uh well she's not really that meta we have scarlet black shadow we have Tia, we have Rapunzel, really good rocket launchers and in the future we will get more rocket launchers that might even become even more broken as well. So a character like Rem who's you know has skills that makes rocket launcher um, absolutely insane plus providing heals is really really good and she's a burst 2 character with a 20 second cooldown. Now solo raid and union raid if you guys are using multiple rocket launcher she is probably going to be a go to character simply because you're probably using Blanc on the wall in another team. You're you're probably using Naga and Tia in another team so you need another great buffer with heals for your solo raid and Rem will fit that bill straight away as you can see from a skill one has the ability to increase attack um, affect self so it's only to herself but that's fine uh, she also has the ability to share her HP recovery so activates when entering battle affects self so recovers 42.24% of attack damage as HP continuously and as you can see when you use your burst skill, you will be able to give everyone this HP recovery as you use those. Um, activate when entering battle. Uh, affect self and two rocket launcher within character with the highest attack and the shared HP recovery. Uh, share HP recovery so including that as well so that's gonna be really really good and if we take a look at her burst skill she not only has well don't worry about a crit rate we don't really care too much about it. Um, but we do have affects all allies with rocket launcher which the attack is increased by 50.78 percent of casters attack this is usually really good now she is a support character so in general her attack stat might be slightly lower than obviously well, will be lower than regular attackers but this should still be a relatively good ability um especially if you go ahead so this is for 10 seconds if we go over to pride win and we take a look at burst one not rocket launcher just burst one litter um, Litter's one is 66% for all attacks, allies for 5 seconds. Now, we do know that Red Hood, when she uses this one, is better than Litter. Now, because this skill, where is it? Let's go back to it. This skill is 10 seconds and it's also a burst 2 ability. You can use a burst 1 ability with another attack buff uh, and it will be really, really good for you. So, attack buff plus max ammo capacity five rounds for 10 seconds um, that's actually going to be pretty useful especially to rocket launchers specifically that's going to be extremely good for them especially when you have characters like um scarlet if you go back to scarlet black shadow um is it black shadow yeah black shadow scarlet wants to you know when she's in her uh burst she wants to use her as many attack as possible 
um, the ammo is nine obviously you're going to give her max ammo capacity but increasing the making sure she does um, you know attack every single time when she's in her burst not making sure that you don't go into cooldown while she's in the burst is also going to be important so luckily for you we have a character that can help with that so in general this is a really really good ability for rocket launcher she's a go-to one of the go-to characters for rocket launchers team and if you if i go over to pride Win, and i'll go over to uh the just like burst two characters so we just do this burst two not rocket launcher you can see the ratings for some of the other characters for so blank obviously insane character she gets all this triple s tier stuff but there's senti now if we go over to senti what does senti provide she provides you with only shield which is useful don't don't get me wrong however for sure when rem gets added she will have better ratings in my opinion compared to senti because senti only has shield Whereas with, with Rem, she has heals, attack buff, max ammo capacity buff, which is going to be really, really good. And now, it's it might be a hit or miss depending on how good he, he, her healing is. If, it is. if her healing isn't great, it's going to be really, really bad. But the thing is, she does buff up her attack. You can also use burst ones that also buff attack in general. Um, so that would be good. So burst ones that can burst attack, uh, pierce damage no attack buffs from her um who well you can use litter i guess attack buff as you can see um do, 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 do. there's merry bay goddess as well actually since this is sorry this is a water code character um if you take a look at rem sorry rem is a water code character as well you can actually use merry uh merry also buffs attack to all water code allies and she also provides healing as well oh my days this is actually going to be really good. Um, Mary, um, uh, Mary and Rem and any of your other burst free as rocket launcher, preferably Amelia, um, because that would be really, really good with her. Um, yeah, that, that seems really strong. That seems really, really strong in my opinion. Now, going over to, to Rem, we know Rem is insane as well in terms of DPS. We don't know how broken because she kind of uses new stuff that we need to see how good it is because she kind of scales off of max final ammo capacity as well, which we don't really have any other character that does that, so we can't see how the scaling would work. Um, she also, if you take a look at this, it's charge damage. Now, in my video, I kind of compared this to characters like um, Snow White, and um uh, where is it snow white and and rapunzel no snow white and maxwell but the thing is maxwell and snow white they are all characters that are that are sniper characters so the scaling is usually better 300 percent of damage since it's usually pierce so yeah they have pierce she has pierce in general and then if you go over a character like snow white once again also another sniper character so the damage isn't distributed basically um 1000 damage and also has pierce so we need to see how good it is when um which is in the game because without pierce it's kind of like yo is she broken is she good um she's looking like a new card though uh charge speed is reduced charge damage over here uh we just have to see how good the charge damage is in general since there's no pierce um so we need to see there might be other characters that grants pierce in the game to characters last time i checked there was um the new character uh d wife killer wife killer there we go what does she do does she grant pierce no she just increases pierce gain pierce for one round activates when attacking with full charge except self or concerning to herself any other pierce no no characters will give you pierce that would be broken i think um Actually, the schoolgirls. Let's take a look at the schoolgirls real quickly. Uh, Tia. Let's see. Attack. Yep, yep. No pierce from this. Okay, yeah. We just need to see. Since when you use rocket launcher, the damage is kind of different to snipers. Um, but in general, since the percentage seems really good, I'm just going to assume her damage is good. Now, if you want to know who's the best one to go for between Amelia and Rem, Rem is looking like the better one to go for. If you guys are going to be like, yo, I can't get both of them. I have to only get one. Then it's Rem, in my opinion. Supporters are usually better. However, try your hardest, guys, to get both of them. Um, so Amelia versus Rem, I would probably go with Rem. Simply because that support skill is going to be, 
universal moving forward in the game as long as you have rocket launchers she will be a character you would use now we don't have the skill for ram who is an sr unit but the fact that ram also synergizes with ram and amelia could actually alleviate your best one slot because ram is for sure going to be a best one character and um, if you can use ram and sr character with ram and amelia it will just alleviate your your team in general um so i think i think yeah they are definitely a must summon in my opinion absolutely a must summon you don't want to regret not pulling them right now um they, they do get like special skins over here this is amelia's one um and then we also have login stuff we do have multi from here so yeah we have a multi from here what else do we get skin for s oh no just srm ram sorry du -du 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 -du. wow 14 days really that's long okay um yeah that is it for the video guys don't forget to like and subscribe let me know down in the comment section if you guys are going to be summoning um or your own thoughts around it now if you guys are still saving for 1.5 anniversary i would probably recommend you guys to ticket the, that character it's going to be one character the rates are going to be lower for you so less chance of you being able to pull those characters compared to the collab character so yeah it's been your boy ac gamer don't forget to like and subscribe and i'm out